I will be you know looking for uh, for their uh, private individual attitude to what light might be uh, well to say that uh, I will look for creativity I would be uh, to say nothing because it's a competition and uh, but you know this uh, architectural creativity needs to have two other factors uh, empathy and uh, clarity and these three elements um, I know uh, we had a conference last week in Poland and there was a, a very interesting man uh, Rama Giravo who was talking about it uh, the subject of the conference was inclusivity uh, but uh, it seems that uh, you know since all the projects now needs to be inclusive and inclusivity doesn't mean only um, making everything usable for people with disabilities on the contrary inclusivity it uh, comprises uh, now thinking about race about age about gender and about uh, usability I would ask them to, uh, you know, start thinking about um, what is our relation to daylight uh, from the very, very beginning, as if they were uh, the first people on the earth. What, what does it do to the spaces? What does it do to architecture? I think that uh, you know these are um, very interesting channels to move along. Uh, to uh, understand the uh, what life has to us, sunlight, daylight, and moonlight. Uh, in architectural design, you know, you uh, consider different qualities of daylight. Um, uh, it uh, is important you know, from what. Um, world direction light comes uh, like uh, designing museums and uh, artists um, studios you need to uh, look for northern light uh, because <clears throat> it doesn't give you <clears throat> any uh, excessive warmth or glare um, uh, of course you know there are regulations and norms uh, saying how much daylight what intensity of daylight uh, is needed uh, in specific functions. Uh, it's a different um, values for the classrooms, different values for uh, uh, apartments, uh, for, for people, different values for offices. Uh, so this is also, you know, the quite codified uh, knowledge. Uh, we wanted to have such a um, um, wrapping for that building so that people being inside would have a feeling that they are inside but they are not cut off from the uh, area which is very beautiful and very uh, rich when the nature is considered. Uh, so um, that was the decision to use the colors which they like yellow, lime, uh, orange and uh, deeper green uh, to make this uh, impression of being inside that gazebo. Uh, the building was realized in two phases <clears throat> and uh, in the uh, and as I said you know it's a huge urban block and there were many functions many institutes and we wanted to use uh, something like a color code so not only to have these colors uh, on the southern elevation, but to introduce them inside and uh, uh, treat the color as something leading to specific uh, functions.